Hi guys, it's Yarek here, Financial Markets Online. I just want to show you today in a very simple way how I made $12,500 in about five minutes. Now, this is very, very exciting trade. However, also what I want to cover today, it's two very important and quite often asked questions question number one which a lot of students keep asking us can i trade phase two on a daily uptrend can i trade phase two on a daily downtrend well the answer the quick answer to it is yes you can however you need to meet certain rules second question is how can i make money trading gold a lot of you are very excited about learning how to f trade fast markets like gold or Dow Jones. It's a very sexy, exciting market to trade. However, if you want to make consistent money from trading gold or any fast markets, you need to stick to the rules. So what I want to do today, I want to break down the position that I took yesterday and I want to explain why I enter on that point and why I closed that position very, very quickly. I literally took position for five minutes i made twelve and a half thousand dollars and i've closed the position very quickly so the step-by-step -step process is going to be very very simple i'm going to show you two platforms my analysis and then execution platform and then i'm going to walk you through the entire process so let's have a look on the chart so as you can see on my chart right here you can see gold position and, and I was waiting for the gold positions for about two days. Now, right here, gold was on phase one, very long phase one, phase two, and the market pushed up and created phase one again. Now, what's very important to understand is that right here, we had an exhaustion candle, the market got rejected. And on this day, two days ago, I could see that the sellers are trying to get into the market so then i thought well i could have quite nice position very quick in and out on phase two the reason why we want to get in and get out very quickly on phase two it's because during the phase two guys the market could be very very choppy and when the market is very very choppy it's going to be very sporadic so what we want to do if you decide to trade phase two on a daily uptrend or downtrend what you need to remember number one you need to get in and get out very very quickly don't hold the position for very long time you may have very long phase two but usually phase two is going to be very very choppy so we want to avoid getting kicked out of the trade so if you're trading phase two make sure that you've got a very specific entry you get in you get out you take your money and forget about the rest of the day so right here on my daily so today um as you can see the market dropped quite drastically but we didn't i didn't really know that the market is going to drop that beautifully normally i expect the market to be very very choppy so the trade has been taken yesterday two days prior to me taking this trade what i can see i've got the rejection candle i've got some sellers kicking in now on one hour chart, let me just put some day separation so you can see how my watch list, how my preparation for this trade worked out in terms of across few days. So that was the day when the market got rejected. This is your high test bar. And what we've got here, we've got our high, 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 low, the market fails to create higher high and the next day, creates our first lower low, then creates lower high and then confirms. And now right here, I've got full reversal pattern. So step number one on one hour chart, I could follow through the structure and see the reversal pattern. So if you want to trade phase two, you, one of the skills you need to harness, one of the skills you need to learn is to understand and see reversal patterns let me just walk you through it so right here day one i had the beginning of my reversal pattern so right here i've got the beginning of the reversal pattern so i've got my high 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 low pushes up i've got my head shoulder shoulder the next day 
I've got the first cycle going through. And what happened yesterday? I could see I had a confirmation, the market getting into phase two, break below 20 and 50, and I've got my 20, 50 crossover. Then I've got my confirmation that the market changed the direction. When we've got confirmation, when we've got confirmation that the market is changing the direction, what we do, we're going to go to a lower time frame and see if we can find our rules to enter. Guys, you need to remember daily chart gives us direction, lower time frame provides us with the entry point. So then what I've done here, I went to a lower time frame. Normally I enter on five minutes chart. Now I took this position late in the afternoon after the US open. And the reason why is because I could see a breakout of the daily level. So that was my daily level. I saw the breakout, but that was just before that was just before the open in the US. Now, what's very important to remember that gold will gonna it's gonna be linked to US dollar, right? So if you want to place the trade in the afternoon UK time, right? The US open is going to happen at 2.30 p.m. UK time. Therefore, I would need to wait until the market opens in the US, see if there's any shake up and break up of the pattern. And then I'm waiting for my entry. So the US open was exactly on this bar right here, as you can see. I've got already the cyclicity, the market breaks out, the market pulls up a little bit here, and then the core entry for me would be the first candle. So you literally entered right here, and I closed my position very quickly for 90 odd points, and that was taken right here on my execution. That's my execution um, platform, where I've entered literally right here, Yesterday, I closed the position very quickly, and that was the trade I've taken yesterday. That was literally five minutes. That was twelve and a half thousand dollars in literally five minutes. So, guys, what's very important to understand and take into consideration? Number one, daily time frame gives us direction. Lower time frame provides us with the entry point. What I always say to new traders who start trading, don't go lower than one hour chart to find the entries. When you get used to analyzing your daily four hour and one hour charts, and you can execute minimum 30 trades with one to one risk to reward ratio. And the outcome is that you've got minimum seven winning trades out of 10. Then you can slowly break down the time, time frames. You can break down your time frames and see whether you're going to be able to enter on a lower time frame to have higher risk to reward. Guys, if you like this video, if you like this breakdown, if you like our information, please remember to click subscribe button. Send this um, video to, to your friends. Don't be greedy. Don't hold it to yourself. Pass it on to people who are learning. And if you want to learn a bit more, if you want to find out more about our strategies, the way we teach, please send us a message. Send us a comment. We're going to come back to you. If you want to come to our trading floor to sit with us hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder, we always keep our doors open. I wish you all the best in our trading journey. And if you've got any questions, just put the questions underneath this video and we're going to answer it to you. Wish you all the best. I'm going to see you on our trading floor.